What's good, what's good, what's good? Aquí andamos on another episode of Compuros Compas, su compa Carlos Rodriguez. We're back. And my boy, El Bardo. ¿Cómo andamos? ¿Cómo andamos? Hoy le toca fumar solo, hijo de la chingada, porque Shh, si man, me pueden escuchar, compa. estoy un poco mormado la chingada, güey, man. Nah, ahorita se raja en you, you, you grab. Puede you ser grab que sí, nah, puede ser conozco, que sí, pero cabrón. es que tengo una tos bien pesada y tenemos que cantar el fin de semana y va a estar cabrón. No que va a estar cabrón, pero sí soy culito y me voy a, a lo mejor me culeo. Y... Pero today we're on our fucking uh, con puros compas. I think that I, no, I don't think I'm gonna be able to announce him how I want to announce him because actually right now my compa Fry just finished the picture, yeah. so I can kind of say Aguacate Music Group's very own. Yeah, you, nah, can, you like that? You can fire ass picture too. Hell yeah! Fuck, shout out uh, Fry. Oh, big shout out to the snappers. Aquí están. Hoy viene on the, the smoking section. Mi compa José Cermeño, on the sound, the Zaman rolling up, and Samuel, Samuel L. L. Jackson. Boo. And he's not black, <laughs> just so you guys know. Yeah, from well, the waist well. down, he said he's black. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. But we have a uh, fucking AMG's very own, este, el compita Juan de Meritito Dorado Show, compadre. Hey, oh yeah, aquí estamos, aquí andamos. Ahí está, que se oigan los pinches. Yeah, ahora sí ya somos aguacate. Ahora sí ya. Hell yeah, by the time yeah. this is out, it'll be out already. For That's sure. what I'm saying. Like, ahora sí se puede anunciar bien con madre. Cool, cool. But um, yeah, we're here with Juanito. We're going to have a, a decent... We, we, we just already had like a fucking... I know. Like an should, hour we, fucking conversation about Durango. You, you guys are from Durango, so... La racia de Durango. <laughs> we talked about Durango, los tiempos de Durango. We talked a little bit about the local scene. We talk, we talk with Bart a little bit about the drugs that ah, he's tried in his life. It's a little bit of drug. But also, okay, no este, uh, obviously, when it comes out, it will be later. But today, just today, which is the 11th of May, I don't know if you already jammed out to that uh, Dorado and Brigada that came out today. You don't think I did, compa? Shit. What's up, Juanito? Yeah. How was that shit? How did that come about or what? You know what? When, 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 I was, when we were recording, I was like a little bit iffy, but... Once I went to see what actually, cómo se estaba escuchando todo, you know, pues uno que pueda decir, I, I saw, a mí me gustó cómo se oyó todo. Eh, trabajando con Peter, man. Peter did a very good job. And shout out Peter Celis, right? Shout out yeah. Peter Celis de Brigada. Él básicamente fue el que dirigió todo el show. Produced fue idea everything. de él, nos invitó. We're like, yeah, we're down. And, um, y hasta se me había olvidado que lo habíamos hecho hasta que empezó a anunciar que va a salir. Yeah, y man. la raza está respondiendo. It's more like a... Our, uh, um, rancho thing like hell yeah maybe that. directed maybe he's we're being a little bit racist pa no más pa la gente de Durango pero pues es lo que se identifica uno you know yeah y con lo que se te identificas pues se ve mejor lo que lo que haces uh, I jam to it hey compa that's straight rancho that, that is, right? should make me feel like I was in the fucking uh, shout, shout out to like. Yogi Yogi de nuevo terreno yeah we recorded there we recorded there and uh I think Christian, I, I forgot his last name. Oh, he did the. the I see when he shouted out Christian. Is that Christian? Um, the guy that was with. Uh, Alerta, I think. Okay, Alerta. I was, like, Alacranes, yeah. Alac right. It was Alacranes and then yeah. Alerta, no? Something like that? <laughs> yeah. yeah I, think, I think, yeah, that's the one. El Radica and Durango, and he, he did a good job with the, with the mixing master. He did master, the mixing master? Yeah. Yeah, uh, when my wife got home, she's like, Did you hear it? I'm like, Yeah, I heard it. She's like, You don't even know what the fuck that is, right? Like, that's all Durango right there. And I'm like, honestly, I listened to it, and I was trying to say, like, well, you know, where have I heard this? 
But I hadn't. <laughs> I hadn't heard it. Like, it's just like, you know, something I, I, that, I was about to say, Carlos was like, I just don't know. Don't know. Shit. I don't no, know. no, I hadn't heard it. And it's just like, well, said. you haven't heard it because you don't know about that. You don't that. know. You know about that. Nah, I jumped to it. I jumped to it. And you know what? I, I used to be, like, annoyed by that. But now that I'm older, I, like, I, I, I understand that, like, you know, well, Durango think, pues nomás la gente de Durango va a saber cómo, cómo vas a creer que ¿Cómo toda la gente. El agua? Es como hace oh, it used to know you that people didn't know about it? Like, or kind of look down at it or whatever. Okay. But, you know, it's, why, why, why did it annoy me? I shouldn't have. Right. Because it's impossible for everybody. Like, would you like? Uh -huh. I mean, how many fucking years you've been doing this shit already? One. Shit. 2001 since the Torres Camelas. That's oh, when I shit. started. Is that when you started That's starting? That's the year we started, yeah. Oh, shit. Damn. Uh, I, no, you just made me say how old I am. No, no. Well, that's how old you've been in the music. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. Pero pues, you never diga cuántas pinches, cuántas primaveras ya le cargan allá la chingada. Ya las trae. No, en la pinche se... So, so, 20 years. No, yo no. Más o menos. Yo no fumo muchachos. No, no. Juanito no le... Weed, weed no is, le is for people that can't afford cocaine. Ah. There you go. There you go. That's, that's a great explanation. <laughs> and what, no, if, no, you, and what if you can afford <laughs> both? <laughs> What you get, then you become Bart. Hasta un gozo alucinó que no da. A huevo de todo. 20 years ago, but how, how the fuck, um, how do you like the... Uh, Technically, we started before 9-11, but um, I always identify myself. That reminds you of it. Yeah. Uh, um, we had already started like a little bit before that. But during when we were in the process of making the group, that's when that happened. The whole 9-11. I remember Shit. I was in Indiana. I have vivía yo antes. A la verga. Yeah, we have been all over the place. We went to Mexico, came back to Indiana, then came back to Chicago. But yeah, that's how I... That's, I always identify myself with 9-11 when we started the band. Tuta. Porque la band ya existía. Y ya después ya entré yo. Oh, so ya había adorado show. Yeah, ya había. Pero no había nada formal. They were just barely trying to get together. También apenas iba dándole. Yeah. That's fucking cool. That's and shout out to los compas de San Jose, Ramos, compa, Drupi, Marcos, Uri, Chalio, and Carlos. These are the guys that started? Yeah, they got on me because uh, when I came out in the ah, rock class, I didn't, shout them out I didn't mention them, bro. Ah, but it's hard. But you know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, they they hard, don't know though. that. You, you know how you, we were talking about it? That yeah, yeah, Se yeah. te olvidan cosas de lo sí, que quieres sí, platicar sí, or people you want to send shout-outs. Repítalo shout otra vez para que diga sí. dos veces les dije, hijo de la chingada. La yeah. familia Molina, así, no, así le, 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 le atino mejor. Sí. San José Ramos. Yeah. 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 And those are the guys that initially kind of started. Those were the original guys. Original. Okay. Before, ah, even big before me. Big shout-out to those guys. Yeah, it's Eduardo. Marcos, Uriel y Carlos y mi compadre Chalío. Um, es el que todavía te echa la mano, ¿verdad? Todavía, de vez en yeah. cuando, cuando lo deja la esposa. Ah, la madre. ¿Se vale decir así o no? Sí. Se le va a enojar a la comadre. Sí. Yeah. Se vale decir la verdad. <laughs> Hell yeah. But how do you feel about the, the whole evolution of what, like, pues es que 2001, you guys were around cuando estaba fuerte el pinche género también, obviamente. We were around and we had work But we musically weren't there yet. Okay. We weren't there yet. I think we're late bloomers. Ahorita me siento más seguro de lo que hacemos. Like, you know, antes, maybe at the moment I didn't think about it now, but now when I look back, I start listening to the stuff we used to play. Okay. I, um, for example, Dale. When, when you guys were out, Wanda Real. Okay. And when we were out, pues I'm like, eh, hey, pues es competition. Pero ahorita me pongo a escuchar lo que tocábamos antes y pues se nota que sí estaban un poquito mejor ustedes en calidad, en mi opinión, musicalmente, porque right. por el, las voces o, you know, no, no, no hablando de Lelo, hablando de mí personalmente. Were you were singing back then, though? Um, casi no, porque ya teníamos a Lelo. Antes de que entrara Lelo, eh, yo era el cantante original. Ok. And, um, y uno ve para atrás, y you no, know, pero... Hay grupos que no lo aceptan, hay gente que no lo acepta, que no ve nada, no, que yo siempre he sido chingón, pero no. Right. Yeah. I look back and I'm like, nada. Este, ahora sí siento que sí ha habido mucha evolución, nomás que late, we late bloom. Yeah. No por creerme mucho ahorita, ¿verdad? Pero siento que sí es... Ahorita la banda está en uno de sus mejores puntos musicalmente en, en calidad de música. Ok. Yeah. Pues tiene que ver mucho, obviamente, la experiencia, este... 
the 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 lows you know whenever there was low moments y las sobresalieron y pues tienes un buen cuadro eh? o sea tienes un buen uh, like a good foundation how long has Mario been in there with you guys now man I'm very bad with dates yeah but Mario's been there for a while I mean he's been there for a bit right yeah I think que Mario ya casi cumplió sus 10 años fácil yeah I mean he's, he's casi casi el mismo tiempo que tiene Lelo casi okay. es el mismo el tiempo que tiene que tiene Mario Yeah. I think Mario entró un poquito después de que ya agarramos a Lelo. Porque Lelo lleva como para 12, I dare to say, almost 15 years. Oh, shit. Yeah. Nobody knows it, but everybody knows that he played with Lamento. Right. He played with Revelación, pero con nosotros fue con el que ha durado más. Verga. Yeah. Sí, tiene un buen pinche tiempo, entonces ahí ya. Yeah. 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 And then you guys... Um, no más que there wasn't like apenas ahorita también van en racha de de more recordings than before too, right? Yeah, man. Ahorita me pongo a pensar mucho mucho de lo que de lo que yo siento que pasó en el grupo fue que immature mentally, business wise, decision wise, um, no se proponía uno hacer las cosas. There wasn't so many goals. It yes. was just like was it kind of you guys were I mean a little bit of partiers, you could say? Yeah, of yeah, course. Right? Era after parties and after parties right. y todo eso. Y, y también los varios integrantes sin ofender a nadie, porque después me van a reclamar. Sí, luego te dan chingada. Um, pienso que a lot of guys, <laughs> a, a lot of people in Chicago became musicians because it was the thing to be. Ya cualquiera se juntaba y luego especialmente duranguense. En ese Agarraban tiempo, teclados, yeah. el que sean dos, tres teclados, ya, yeah, vamos a hacer un grupo. That's true. And, pero hay muy, y, hay, y había gente que nomás lo hacía por hacerlo, porque por andar en el desmadre, que agarrar morrillas y todo eso. No, y andar ahí con los pisteando, compas nomás. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Y ahorita, I, I wish I would have thought how I think now, at least halfway when we were doing Dorado. I would, I would have it, I, I feel like I would have it in a different place, in a better place. Not that I'm not happy with what we've done. Because we've done everything by ourselves. Yeah. No promoter, no nothing. You never fucking uh, got to sign with anybody or any of that kind nah, of stuff? No, we, we were told we were going to sign, but I don't, that never happened. Only on one occasion? We, we didn't we didn't never sign anything with, with Pedro. Pero no más una vez. That decirte, was the only time, okay. yeah. That was yeah. the only time, one time offer. No, we never signed anything. What Was that in a particular album? It was... Was that the Kiedeme? Yes. Yeah, right? Yes, it was the Kiedeme. Actually, we recorded all of them with Pedro. The was that in Chuyitos then or what? So the first one we recorded it in Ayan Sanchez Brothers con, ah, con Danny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Con Danny. And, Alacran has uh, talked about that too, yeah. yeah. We recorded there our first one and our second one we did it with Chuyito. Yeah, Chuyito Duarte también trabajó con Pedro. Él, él estuvo con Montes y estuvo el con cantante. Ma Master Show. ¿De sí. Caimán? Yeah, el, yeah, right? De Caimán. Damn, what happened to that guy? You don't know what that is. I don't know. Bro, ese güey tenía una pinche vocerrón. Yes. Yeah. Buen cantante. Great voice. Eh, I, I, es una familia de músicos. Uh, ah, ok. Vienen okay. siendo... Um, Vigilancia es sobrino de él, el muchacho Emanuel Duarte. ¿A poco sí? Es sobrino de... Did not know that shit. Yeah. I did not know that. Y ese, ese mismo chavo de vigilancia, you know Joan Elite. Me, me That's your godson, right? Yeah, it's my godson. Nephew, he's, slash he's nephew. He's related to Emmanuel Duarte as well. Talk to me about him real quick if you don't mind. I don't mind. What's up with that guy? How's well, he doing? I mean, do you talk to him often or no? I haven't talked to him often. We, uh, the, Does it feel yeah. weird to call him Joan Elite? <laughs> Yo le digo ya, yo, ya, Johnny. 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 Yeah, Así le decimos Johnny de que estaba chiquito. Ya. You know, you, yeah, I know. Yeah. Johnny, with this guy told me with uh, Parral or something like that, right? He, was he went with Parral for yeah, a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, He's somebody good. I might, I might say some yeah, things that sure. are wrong, so... Yeah. We'll bring up... We'll have him come in, too, so that he can clear the pedo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll him, we'll him, we'll him, we'll him, yeah, yeah. Um, right now, he's playing with Ejército, I think. Yeah, he's playing with Ejército. That's who he was and, uh, with before. Yeah. I, I don't know what's, a, what's the situation with Parral, with Chonchis de Parral. Yeah. El que tenía Tercer Elemento. Um, I Good don't know voice, if he's gonna man. go back or he's gonna resign. I know. I think his Did contract he, is up, and okay. I think he might 
they might offer him another contract, but I don't know what he's going to oh, end up doing. Yeah. Even though he's not over there anymore kind of thing. Yeah. He's not as young as he used to be. I think he thinks different now. So, a ver qué pasa con él. Yeah, but he's not an old guy. No, todavía he's very young. Todavía está morro. Todavía morrillo todavía. Tiene muy buena voz. Una sí. voz muy única también. Yeah, it's unique. It's yeah. unique. I think he has a long way to go and he has a lot of potential. He never got into the Duranguense thing though, right? Oh, no. Yeah. No, no. He never got into A little into bit before his time, no? Probably yeah, yeah, yeah. He was young. a yeah. He was a yeah, shorty. He's got to be, what, like 21, más o menos, or less? Uh, no, I, think, I don't think he's 21 yet. Yeah, no. he's a younger dude. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that guy's got... I remember when he told me, like, oh, that's my nephew. I you think know? he's like 18 or 19. Oh, también oh, morro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he was doing all this. He was with Parral when he was fucking 16. Yeah. Fucking 15, 16 years old. That's, wow, 16. that's crazy. I think he was 16 yeah. when that's he started. Crazy. Imagine that. Yeah. Fucking that young, get a well, little deal. My props, though, because at the end of the day, lo que, fa lo que falta en esto, a veces, no a veces, la mayoría de las veces son huevos, porque you need to take that leap in order to want to want to have shit and, and happen. The way I see it, regardless if it works or doesn't work out or le combino it. o no le combino lo que fue a hacer allá he did it at a very young age yeah so well, he, out, you know he has enough enough time to like he did recuperate figure it come out, back like, yeah. fucking play still make money still yeah. make music more For importantly sure. yeah. and still be fucking under 21 way <laughs> that, that's the crazy part that he was that he still has so much time to yeah. go back into it and yeah, do, he it, can, do he, it different this time whatever he didn't like that he did the first time and I feel vessels. I feel like for in, in his case, but this is just my opinion, um, because he was from Chicago. Maybe he didn't have a hundred percent support from the people from Cali, because I I radica el, el chonches del de Parra, pa, okay. pa, pa ese lado. I, I don't I don't know. I don't feel like he might have not had the same support. Not that he didn't have the support, just maybe not the same. Yeah, but he he, he did good, man. And, on social media and uh, plus platforms. Yeah, he was digitales. getting millions of views and yeah, shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was and doing... in more than one song. Oh, was it? Yeah. And, and you know what? I don't... Um, He's talented too when it comes to writing. So he writes his own shit. Yeah. I know he plays the guitar. Yeah. And he sings, obviously. Yeah, yeah. And he's a perfectionist, bro. Okay. He's not comfortable with little, little minor mistakes. He no, matters. No, no le gusta. Y es bien sencillote. Bien sencillo. How much do you uh, see him? Do you see him often? Or not really? I haven't seen him since, I think, I want to say his birthday. Okay. Um, They did a little, when they was during the COVID, the little... Drive-thru kind yeah, of thing? Drive -thru, yeah, drive-thru, yeah. I just went to go get a strawberry, chocolate, <laughs> chocolate covered strawberries and a cupcake. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, yeah. And then what's up with the goddamn COVID? I know back in the day when we were talking about the COVID, it was something that you were... You were uh, feeling a certain way about the motherfucker, right? Hell yeah, bro. I was, um, I took it seriously. I took it seriously, um, not just because personally. Well, you're a fellow diabetic. Yeah, I'm yeah. diabetic. Not only that, I felt guilty being somebody that would spread it, you know? Uh, Especially with my parents, that I, they live in my crib. Okay. I felt a little bit... Um, with their responsibility. Yeah, like if, okay, I get sick, me muero yo, pues qué, o sea, es mi culpa. Right. Pero si llego, llego la enfermedad a la casa y se enferma alguien de mi familia, I would have felt like shit. Yeah. Yeah, so. And then, but what a lot of people didn't understand that um, there were people dying. And just because it didn't happen and someone close to you, you, you people didn't care. Yeah. I think Until, that's what it is, way. Until you have a, somebody, you close, had somebody you. close. Yeah, yeah I had, I had an close, uncle yeah. that passed in, o sea... It, yeah, wait. Then you would say, "Oh shit!" If, if you were doubting it, then you say, "Ah, shit! This is real. Yeah. This could happen to somebody fucking close." And you know to, what I think know? made it worse? People that got sick, and it was like nothing. You know, ah, it's just a fucking cold. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pero it's, it's obvio. Te estaban diciendo, están matando a los viejitos. You're the young people. Uh, were, me, were me good compa over here when he when he got it, he casi se despidió de mí when he fucking Dale, called me. Bro. He's like, he called me and he said, Diabali verga. Le digo, compa, cálmese. He like, was, I want to leave you my was, baseball card. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> no. They're no, underneath no. my bed. He was fucking. No, I lo, mean, peor, lo peor conmigo, it's kind of what you just said. Like, I got it. I didn't realize I had it till Black Friday, the day after Thanksgiving. But by then, I had already spent Thanksgiving to my parents, so I I did get everyone sick, everyone sick, all my my family except for my younger brother and his wife. 
But everyone else got it. Everyone, ever. My and then Pacala Chingar, my mom got pretty fucking sick. Yeah. So you know, when when I'm out of it two weeks later, my mom's at her, at her worst. So even though I'm out of it, I'm like, all right, well, I'm out of it, but I'm feeling shitty as fuck because my mom was at its worst. So I was on that boat. I was like, yeah. ah, fuck. I just fucked it all up, you know? Pero pues uno que chida vas a ver. I mean, I didn't, really, I didn't realize it until Friday. El pinche recalentado no me supo ni madre. Y madre. Y compa que se está comiendo una, you know una sopa fucking, de cartón. You know what was fucking it up a lot? No, no. Everybody, everybody's opinion. Social media and I, I, I love when he's on social media because he'll be in there and he'll be like, All right, I don't know anything, but <laughs> <laughs> or something along those lines. Siempre le pone algo así, like, I'm no expert, but <laughs> I gotta do it that way because you gotta defend yeah, yourself yeah, yeah, on fucking yeah. Facebook, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Cualquier little mistake you make, they're preparing fucking, for the fucking watch out. Yeah. yeah, you better walk straight. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Yeah. And everybody thinks they know everything on fucking he Facebook. He didn't want to get uh, blocked or banned yeah. on Facebook for... Que no me oiga Fofo. Ah, shout out to Fofo. Shit, we'll bring shout out Fofo. Fo. Fo no, but vision. it's true, bro. Like, fucking social media, I love it and I hate it because... It is, uh, yeah, you love it and you hate yeah. it at the same time. I, I hate it because I'm like, wait, I know your ass. <laughs> you're not a fucking doctor. <laughs> or you're not in the NFL. <laughs> or you're not in the... My boy Arturo Vargas, oh. big shout out. He's like 5'5", five, 5'3", five, five, like Sammy's height. And then he'll be like talking shit about the NBA players, you know, getting fucking hurt. And he'll no, be like, and they, oh, no, they, they talk about pussy. like crazy ass details. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah Like, yeah. motherfucker, you got all the information on the fucking internet. I don't know That's as much as you know because I'm fucking lazy and I don't want to read. <laughs> they, they almost say the same shit that Sports, yeah, yeah, exactly. that sports Center said. They'll say it. Pretty much. <laughs> They'll fucking type it, yeah. I, I talk shit and I'm like, okay, since you guys know everything... Um, tell me who's going to win the Super Bowl so I can make so I my can bets. Bet. <laughs> Speaking of uh, social media and, and issues, we're going to be jumping around everywhere. Because I, ha I have a lot of little things that I want to pick your brain about. Pero algo que si, where it comes to your opinion and shit like that. Because, you know, you're you're somewhere around my age, I think. I, I won't disclose it because I know the age thing she is important is to you. Nah, Pero este, I don't care, man. Este, but you are in the old school mentality. O sea, no eres. You're not a millennial. That's for fucking Hell sure. No. Puro cuarentón, puro I'm puro happy I'm not a millennial. <laughs> are you? Yeah. Do you see it? Do you see the millennial mentality though? I, I mean, first. You know, it's it's real cliche for me to say that the millennials are soft, but it's true, man. You really believe I, that? I, I, Give me an example, or what? Do you, I mean, it's good. It's not their fault. It's just that's the way shit happened. Sammy's over here um, pissed off and we, shit. We, I don't care. See, they're pissed off. Yeah, that's right now. Now. Get this guy out of here. What the fuck? <laughs> I just feel that, um, not that I had it rough or anything like that. I think, I shout out to my dad. He nos siempre nos tenía al, al, al cielo. Firmes, yeah. Nunca nos faltó nada. We weren't rich, pero nunca nos faltó nada. Um, <laughs> pero, I don't know. I just feel as time evolves, va pasando el tiempo, va a ser más softer, más softer than those kids. I, I see it with my kids. And that, is that the parents' fault? It's, I guess it's life, man. Um, uh, uno, aunque no quiera, sigue ese, ese caminito. Se sigue ese caminito and maybe shit you criticize, you fucking do it. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. But I'm not, I'm, I, I try, I don't hit, I don't spank my kids. I'm real old school. People would imagine that. Soy bien old school. Okay. People so, would imagine see, that's that I surprising. spank my kids. Yeah. But um, I'm, I'm a little harsh with them. And I have two daughters. Okay. And they're daddy girls. Okay. And um, pero I don't I don't hit them I don't I don't spank them I'm a if I have to I would but I I don't think I have had the the need to but I just think um I see when I was growing up man if I would say a bad word I'd get smacked in the mouth oh shit okay yeah now I see a lot of kids that just they swear in front of their parents like whatever yeah so or like like growing up getting the Super Nintendo getting the Nintendo you. Had to get good grades, or tenías que portar bien. And it was a, a reward. Ver si te lo compraban. It was a reward. Y ahorita na, ya mis hijas ya traen celular. They're ten and nine. Shit. Damn. Yeah, man. I wouldn't even. I don't think I had a fucking cell phone until I was like fourteen. And shit. I didn't get one until I was twenty-one. I'm trying to think. I I didn't wow. get one until later on in life too, man. Or like nine? No. But yeah, you must have had a pager. No. You never yeah, had a pager. So. No. Oh, oh shit. That's no, you probably started in the music young, no? Well, when I was about. 
When I was 18, I was already going every weekend. You of, already had a pager. I had a pager. I had the cool pager. It showed I me the NBA scores and everything and shit. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pagers with the shit, man. I mean, I, I didn't have one, but oh, I, yeah. I know what a pager is. These guys are looking at no, us like, what yeah, the what fuck are you guys talking pager. about? <laughs> no, for us, for no, la, la Raza de Durango, whoever had a pager, era narquillo. Era narco. Era narco. Era narquillo y traeba los pantalones guess con el little triangle. Compa, no tenía que tener pinche pagers. Tú no me das con que digan que son de Durango, de que se ve narco. Y luego traeba una pinche cremaceda. Órale. Ah, shit. I can relate to the guest jeans. Yeah. The guest jeans. You not that I had them. Not that I oh. had them. But I had some. Pricey, I had cousins. Triangle. I had cousins. That, you remember those? You know? Yeah, I remember those. In Durango, ibas tú allá para los ranchos en in the summertime, los que traían esos eran artillos. Eran los buenos. He's right. He's right. Um, and then going back to the whole social media and your the soft millennials and whatnot, talk to me real quick about, because I seen you on social media posting stuff about this, um, the little village shooting with this kid. Oh, yeah. The 13-year-old. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I know it's a t- touchy subject, and we talked about this once already, and, and our guys from Compas were like, oh, it's a... This was a, a downer, but but it's not a fucking downer, I think. It's more of a, you know, again, I think it's a versus. Like, it's your mentality versus the new mentality and how we see it and how, how they see it. And I'm glad you brought that up because sometimes I don't like to post stuff on Facebook because people perceive it the wrong way. I, I agree. I would have sounded like an asshole. Or even a text or, because or, or, it's a, or yeah. like a, I'm backstabbing my people. Okay, I can see um, that. Pero I like how you put that. This is the way I saw that situation. You can clear it up right now. Para que no haya yes. ningún malentendido. This is the way I saw that situation. I know if if let's say I think fuck fuck the police, they're fucking assholes. They take advantage of their. I don't believe that, but let's say I I, I was to believe that. Okay. And I have my sh- my kid, my shorty, my thirteen year old, fifteen year old, ten year old, whatever. Yeah. And I know we live in the hood. I know they can get killed by another gang. I know que anda fuera haciendo desmadre, ¿verdad? But at the same time, I know if I know cops are fucking assholes, you know, I got to teach my kid, hey, man, if, you know, if you're going to carry a gun, if you're going to do this, you're going to... Si yo sé en qué anda mi hijo, tengo que de perdido educarlo para cuando se tope con una situación de esas. Y, y uno mismo, if I'm a 13-year-old, I already know fucking cops are going to shoot at me. You know, I don't defend the cop. But who lost their, who lost their child right there? Yeah, you know. All I said, I'm gonna do what I, whatever I have to do, because I don't want my child to die. That's where I was coming from. Like, regardless if it's the cops' fault or not, all that bullshit que levantó las manos o no las levantó. Yo no defiendo los cops. Si lo que lo metan al bote, que lo metan. Pero ahí la que perdió fueron los familiares de, del del chaval. El chaval. They lost their kid. So you're yes. kind of. You're kind of saying that it's the pair, like, o sea, viene de, it, de the parents. Maybe, you know, it's hard to control your kid when they're thir- and teenagers. Yeah. Those are hard what, years. What, what if the mom works and she's not there sí, at, sí. Home, at home, that's, you know? That's what I said, too, yeah. You, you know, yeah. I, I don't know. And the father was not around. They were, I went according so, to the shit. Single, they were, single. like, split up or yeah. whatever. You, so I can't be that harsh with, with the parents, but it's, it's, just, it's a harsh situation. I, yeah. I would still go out of my way. More than your typical parent to, for that not to happen. Yeah. And that's just the way I am. I know everybody can't, you know, you got to work. Maybe, oh, you're lucky you you have. My, my, my parents me cuidan a mis hijas. Oh, yeah. So. No, I know what you're saying, bro, because my my parents split up and my mom was yeah, always you, working, you know? you know. So that's, yo también, o sea, andaba de cabrón. And, you know, my OG didn't know because she, she was at work, you know. She didn't know what we were doing. But, but, but don't you think, okay. You're a banger, you know. You got a burner. Sí, sí, sí. Te están siguiendo la chota. Ya te chingaron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck. Like, I ain't gonna Give risk this motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. Shoot me, I'm gonna throw a yeah. fucking gun. So the kid, either way, even though he's 13, he should kind of know the consequences of what he's doing. You're yeah. kind of saying. Yeah, yes, that, he, one, no, that one's a little tough, though, no? He, I mean, do you think like at 13? He shouldn't know. He was too young. The kid yeah. shouldn't have died. Well, see, see, see. That, Regardless of the young. way you see it. Yeah. But I, I think, I do believe that tiene, para ser un cop, tienes que, ese cop tenía miedo, por eso le disparó. Sí, sí. Pero los cops que no tienen miedo también te van a tirar de puros huevos. Yeah. Los right. Que, con, con coraje. Como I, el, 
I think it said a lot the fact that he only shot one time way. And you saw how he kind of got spooked and he tried to help him, you know. Yeah. So, so I mean, the cop was doing his job. That's kind of the way I feel about it. And the whole, like you said about the, the, the people feel like, like you don't want to sound like you're turning your back on your yeah. people, you know. That that's one thing that's crazy, you know. People probably like, nah, he's Mexican. You gotta you gotta back him up. You gotta be on his side, pero pues, yo la neta también, bro. I kind of feel the same way about it, you know. I, just, I feel like there's a lot of factors, way, you know. But the the parents not being there, um, I don't know, just so much way. If he's a gangbanger at 13 already, pues, yeah. there's a know? lot. There is a lot, a whole bunch of fucking elements. That's why I, th- I, I it's very difficult for me to get involved. As much as I want to get involved on social media see, posts, yeah. and especially when I see people that I know posting, and it's very tough for me to to keep off, you know, my phone, my keyboard, or whatever, because uh, the best way to explain it is verbally, you know, because you have to take, and you know, every element way. Like, y, y lo que más me encabrona es que la gente se hace pendeja, güey, más que nada que que. Oh, you know, then why become a cop? Bro, he had 0.8 seconds, right? And I'm not saying that the cop didn't have fault. So let me clear that up. But you're on 24th and fucking Sawyer in a goddamn alley that's not lit, um, that you're running at full speed, and the guy in the same movement throws a gun and lifts his hands. And, you know, what if the cop didn't see when he threw it because it was 0.8 seconds, you know, in the dark alley. And when he sees him turn around, well, he's going to think he's going to shoot at him. Um, look, I'm against gangbanging. I do feel that there's a lot of elements, the mother, the father, the grandparents, whatever you want, the family. Um, but you know, if you're that 21 year old gangbanger that was with them, I, I mean, exactly. wouldn't you want to fucking like, look again, I'm not uh, with gangbanging, but if I maybe were a gangbanger, kind of like I do with these young guys, like yesterday, I'm going to give a, a prime example. You know, these guys wanted to go, not that they wanted it. We took them out to dinner and, you know, they wanted to smoke, let's just say. And and I kind of told them, like, you know what? Um, no, bro. No, because we're going to a, a decent restaurant. I don't want to, I don't want to, all of us be reeking. You know, it's kind of, I'm kind of already letting you know, this is how you should act. And, and, and that's something I think que entre más con these new millennials, they're lacking that. Of course. It's okay to do your thing, you know. But si, no kind of when. Si te la quieres tronar, trénatela, right. pero... Ya ahorita ya se la trenan donde sea. Donde sea. So, though, like, that little example to me is the same thing. Like, I don't know. Like, if I were a gangbanger that's 21-year-old and I'm hanging out with a fucking 13-year-old kid, the least I can do is tell him, hey, look, I'm going to shoot this goddamn gun. I'm going to hand it to you, bro. Whatever you do, if the cops chase you, just drop to the floor. You know, drop to the fucking floor, throw the motherfucker, but don't do any sudden fucking moves because they're going to shoot you kind of thing. As dumb as it sounds, I understand how he's gonna give it to the to the kid, you know, because he's probably not gonna get any time if he finds well, them that, with a gun. I think that's, and I think that's no, of course, that that's fucking, what it was. Yeah. But why wouldn't you wanna? It sounds dumb, right? But why wouldn't you wanna gang train him? Why wouldn't you wanna give him like <laughs> pointers of how to be a how not to get shot, <laughs> how to be a good gang maker? Yeah. As dumb as that sounds, right? Like it's just like <laughs> no matter how are you not, gonna not li- even that to not get killed, man. Well, yeah. You know? And both by the cops or by the rival by gangs, the gangs yeah. like yeah. you know, no matter. Like I, I mean, I don't get that. But that's why when I when I see the whole social media post, and I know there's a lot of elements to to what happened there, but um, ah, fuck, I'm also a big believer that it starts at home, you know. Yes. And, and um, and I do believe that it starts in the community. You know, I see all these people. I also seen a lot of people that I know. Oh, how the fuck did we, the community, les quedamos mal? Yeah, sabes por qué, we? Porque in the community, well, technically, I know that it was three in the morning, so there wasn't anything that he can be at the boys club at three in the morning. Yeah. But you know what, bro? What's up with fucking at least fucking pushing the aldermen to get better fucking street lights or fucking alley lights or LED lights, the ones that light up like the fucking gas stations? Like, I don't get how the fuck the gas stations are all lit up, fucking Target, Walmart, super lit. And all the goddamn fucking alleys are not lit. Like, yeah, how does that make sense? That, that goes beyond cops, you know of what I'm course, saying? Of course, that goes to politics. I've always said, you got to go to the root. Yeah. The goddamn politicians taking money for en- enhancing the community. And that's why the community, and uh, it's, it's where it's at, way. I had a conversation with my little daughters. Oh. Chiquitas. Y yo les dije, mija, because they ask questions, especially the 10-year-old. She asked questions about, like, cuando mataron al morenito. I stay okay. 
Floyd. Ah, okay. Yeah, and she asked questions and like, you know what? Um, How old are your daughters? Ten and eight. Damn. Well, they the were you? Yeah, yeah, my ten-year-old. So then I told her, you know what, mija? Es que hay gente que they don't like you just for dumb reasons because of the color of your skin or because <clears throat> what you like, what you don't. The way like. you think, yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, no más, all I can tell you is that we we need to be as good as we can do be para que no te metas en una situación donde you know Something like like that could happen. Puede, puede yeah. Yeah. when you grow up if you ever get I'm telling you this right now I know you're, you're very little but if you ever get stopped by the police just put your hands on the steering wheel and follow what the officer tells yeah. you so that's the other thing too man I mean it does have a lot to do with with stuff like as little as that like at the end of the day look uh, I don't get the fuck the 12 I really don't get it maybe because I grew up in a little village and and police were you know, kind of important for, for us because we were right on 23rd in California. There was always something going on that the last thing I would not want to do is, like, I would want to call the cops. Like, that's what I would want to do. <coughs> so I don't get the concept of that. Like, I really don't get the concept of um, defunding the police. I do think that they get a lot of funds and maybe it's not allocated in the right fucking departments. You know, I do think that they need better training with... People with fucking health issues, mental health issues, you know, people that are not all there and uh, they might interpret it a different way. But yeah, I'm not a big fan of, uh, of, of, of those theories and shit. Fuck 12 and uh, defunding the police. Yeah, I, I don't agree with that either because it's kind of stupid if you really think about it. Yeah. Because así como, um, todo, como all the people that get killed, some are innocent, some are not. Same thing with cops. Some cops are doing their jobs and some cops are fucking racist. Yeah, you got bad ones and good yeah, ones, right? Yeah. So, para but you también. got bad doctors, bad yeah. teachers, everything. Bad politicians. Yeah. We and go then, back to the politics. I, I would trip. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a racist person, but I'm. I. I don't know. I guess I'm a poquito racist. No, no sé. Um, I'm a big believer that. <sighs> Mexicans should marry Mexicans, and but like if people fall in love with whoever they fall in love with, that's them, you know. I don't, I don't criticize that. I was just me myself. But um, shit, I, I forgot what I was gonna say. You're not racist. Um, no, I forgot what the hell was I was gonna say. And he's not fumando. No se pasa que me está haciendo efecto a mí. Usted se la está fumando. Yeah, I was saying about um, gr growing up, growing up. I'm a quarter que. Shorties would be like, fuck the police. Hey, why do you hate the police? They haven't done shit to you. And um, I think I, like the Mexican community grows up, so a lot of them, like already having hate for the police. Yeah. I mean, that could be the fucking cop's fault too. I think it just takes one bad experience. Yeah. For you to just mind. already have a biased um, opinion. Have you ever it. had a bad experience? I've had a, not a really bad experience. I mean, we I've been stopped because of where I grew up. A lot of times, like one time I was with uh, when we were Banda Azteca in full blown fucking Banda suits and shit, me and my brother Pepe. And we called the cops because it was shooting right on my block. And we waited, we waited like 15 minutes. You know, my mom, like, hey, todavía no se vayan, esperen, you know, porque está calientito el pedo. We end up leaving, going around the corner, and the cops stop us. <laughs> and they're like, oh, there's a suspicious car that just did a shooting. Uh, we just got a call from him, like, Bro, I just fucking called. <laughs> and by the way, I'm wearing a goddamn banda suit. What the fuck makes you think that I'm gangbanging? So that day, I mean, you know, they were just... But you know what? I just think that being a, a police officer is one of the hardest, if not the hardest job out there. Um, bro, I mean, they're risking their life. Every single stop, yeah. they're risking their life. And, and you know what? No matter how brave you are, now I think cops face, okay, I'm going to go into this hood. Force. I know it's hot. Hell I yeah. know they even know what gangs are in the hood. Oh yeah, yeah. They know particular gang and, bangers, and, and they yeah. know gang bangers with records that are in that hood. They already know what they're facing. Yeah. But now they're facing man. I can't even shoot at these motherfuckers if they shoot back because if I kill them, va a haber pedo. Only imagine. Can you imagine Juan how how much this matter there was before the whole body cams and all that? Like, I mean, maybe that's where the whole fuck twelve comes in because. I'm pretty sure maybe this new millennial of fucking police officers like fuck these old cops. They fucked it up for us because they did abuse of the power mm -hmm. because they did fuck up all these people. 
y les valía madre porque no one's watching. There's no, no one recording no on iPhone. Because you yeah. know what I noticed? There's a lot of Hispanic cops now and a lot of Morenito cops. Than, more than, be, than when I was growing up. Oh, that's true. There's more different uh, razas de policía. Más raza. Uh -huh. I remember what I was going to say. That what really would uh, get on my nerves is that people that were... Uh, I have nothing against Black Lives Matter. Uh, I, yo no quiero que nadie se muera. Okay. Um, but I'm a firm believer that you got to take care of yourself. Nobody's going to take care of yourself. Cops don't give a fuck about you. Just do the right thing, you know, as much as you can. But um, Hispanic people <laughs> that would uh, be our Am hardcore... Real hardcore with this Black Lives Matter things, and that's cool. But where's that energy cuando le pasa a los paisas o a los hispanos? I like that. Where, where's that same energy, you know? And they, they, they might think uh, that's an idiot opinion. Oh, you're, one of the, you're part of the problem because the way you think. No, I'm not saying not to support Black Lives Matter. I'm saying I want to see that same energy when it happens to a paisa. Yeah. I, I, what happened with that girl that got shot um, in the head hace poquito? Uh, in Little Village as well? Yeah, in Little I, Village. You know what? I don't know. It wasn't a cop. She was also gangbanging. I she think. was? Yeah, I think so. But don't quote me on that. But uh, yeah. Okay. So we'll see. But uh, I mean, there's so many cases though. Yeah, yeah, there's yeah. A, there was a, this guy this guy nurse that got shot over there. What at, about that girl from the from the, 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 from, the from the army? Soldada. From the army. From Camp Hood. Yeah, you I know? think it was. What happened yeah. there? Nobody said anything? Uh, I think that the... I don't know exactly what happened. I know that the family ended up getting like a sit-down with uh, President Trump. It might have been something like that. Pero pues también... I, heard, I had read an article where that, that particular camp had like another death. A, a whole bunch of deaths. Yeah. I mean, there's so much yeah. shady and, shit. And, and, you know, and you know what? I'm not... I'm not. Um, I'm. I'm. A lot of people are gonna talk shit about me because of what I just said. Uh, but we only have like fucking three hundred subscribers. Yeah. Look at that, man. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's those three hundred, two hundred ninety-five are gonna talk shit about me. Nah, but, nah. You'll you know, be surprised, bro. Maybe a lot of them don't uh, don't uh, voice what you want to voice. You know. Uh, but playing playing around, I tell my guys, okay, oh, you, Black Lives Matter. Are you gonna go live in the black neighborhood? Or you know, donde cuando andas buscando casa, donde buscas casa. Le dije, yo vivo en un barrio donde hay morenitos y vivo, hago más ruido yo que los morenitos. Y hay y gente, se me tiene más and, miedo and a mí los hijos de and, la chica. Y hay muchos paisas que evitan vivir en un barrio como like mine, just because there's a black person living in that hood. There's like three black people that live in my block, okay. and there's a lot of people that won't buy houses there. Because of that. Because of that. Mm. Pero sí, Black Lives Matter. Yeah. You know, I think they're hypocrites. Yeah, I mean, Black Lives Matter to me is right up there. The same thing as politics to me, right? Like, I just feel like, no vamos tan lejos, way. It kind of irks me. It irks the shit out of me that the whole, the kind of change the subject, but not. Are you keeping up with this whole border? Like, how? how uh, yeah, I, I try to, yeah. Dude, they just found like five girls. Oh, I, I think, seen did that. Did you see that? Like, yesterday or two days ago? Um, from 11 each, months yeah. to five years old, bro. Five, five girls. Three are from like Guatemala, two are from Honduras, and they were just left in 98 degree weather in a fucking dirt road in a ranch in El Quemao, Texas. And um, we're in we're in May. We're going towards the middle of May. Neither the new president Joe Biden nor the other president, because she's not a fucking vice president. She's gonna be the next president when Biden dies. Um, <laughs> Kamala Harris. Um, they haven't visited the border. Anyway, you know, said Trump, and I'm not a Trump supporter, but all I'm saying is that if it was Trump, they would have been talking shit. Everybody like yeah. would have been on his ass. Why it's, aren't you at the border? But it's, it's, that's Why aren't you addressing that's the, the border? obvious, and nobody says nothing about it. I don't get it. And, I, that's where I fucking hate the politics. Side that's how I, I relate with the Black Lives Matter thing. Correct. Like, oh, they so support this, but what's what happened when cuando de veras ocupas, you know? Yeah, that's where I'm at with that. That kind of really. Uh, I mean, Bob, va a haber un pinche listener que dice, well, why don't you do something about of it? Course, well, you know what? I mean, yeah, but what are they I, doing I don't about know. it? I mean, I, I'm, I'm here complaining about it, but at the same time, I'm the guy that I don't support the fucking politics. I'm not going to be like, oh, fuck Trump or go by. Nah, fuck both of them. Way. Like, I'm not into politics like that. Um, so I don't think I'm a hypocrite about it because I'm not really supporting neither side. I'm just trying to be as well-rounded, fair, not not um, 
showing any support for either, but saying, hey, if you're going to talk shit about this dude, you need to be talking shit about this dude too kind of thing, you know? Like, how does it not matter all of a sudden what's going on in the border? Yeah. For your people, for your Latinos, Latinx. You're Latinx. Are you Latinx? <laughs> That's another whole conversation. Hell yeah. That's cool. Millennials right there. The softness. Is it? Yeah. Latinx. Like X-Men this, so. and shit. <laughs> <laughs> we had Jesse El Grandote, man. You got to hear that one if you have it with the Compu- Compuros Compas. Yeah, yeah for and sure. And he, uh, he's not a big fucking fan of Latinx. Yes. Are which, you a which, fan of it? I understand it. I understand oh, it. Okay, I try to, to be. I, I think I'm confused. Well, look at well from what I know, I can be fucking straight wrong on this motherfucker, right? You so did, you did your research, compa. Nowadays, um, and you know what? Maybe it's a little bit of the millennial thing. Maybe <coughs> it's the it's a quote unquote. I can't read that. <coughs> oh, we're gonna. You gave me the definition here. Uh, let me give you the exact definition, but that then I'll tell you that doesn't thanks, count. Thanks, yeah, I know. I know. Thanks, Jamie. <laughs> A person of Latin American origin or descent used as a gender neutral or non-binary alternative to Latino or Latina. So pretty much what I knew about it is it could be this this woke, this woke society, right? This woke uh, millennials, millennials, right? So like um, if you're a woman and um, check this box, you know, what's your ethnicity? And it says Latino was a woman, you know. You're like, well, I'm not a Latino, like I'm a Latina, and it goes vice versa. So you're like a Latin X. Like they, I don't know who came up with the Latin X. So it, it, it to not offend, it, it's kind of right up there with like, hey, you can't say Merry Christmas anymore. You can't. No, you got to say like Happy Holidays, right? Well, o sea, because because you're gonna offend Mary- the other religion or whatever yeah. the fuck. So in this case, it's kind of the same. It's it's the woke Latin community, um, or it can be as easy as maybe let's just assume. Bart is a man, but <laughs> he's not, right? I am. It's not a laughing matter. It's not a, I'm, I'm just saying, saying let's asshole. just say that he's a guy, but inside he really feels like he's a girl and uh, a trans or whatever they're Mama. called. And then he doesn't want to be called a Latino, even though he's got a <laughs> cock and everything. But, you know, so he's a Latinx. And I could be wrong, and maybe people are going to talk shit. Como dice Juanito, da. Pero a lo que tengo entendido es más que nada... Like a non-binary. Like, I'm not defining you as a man nor a woman in this category, but you are a Latinx. So, I thought it was just, like, um, homosexual related. No. So, it's like girls don't want to be called Latinos. Or vice versa. Or guys Latinas. Or guys that are guys. but That are gay and Latinos. Yeah. Well, not necessarily gay, or right? Or did the, se- the gender, whatever. Yeah. Or don't even did the gender who, thing, who, but just... Who just... waste their time and to think about this? Like, what, well, well, why, people, why is it consuming people. their life or why... Well, that's where I have... Like, what they were sitting in, in La Cama. Ay, like, I'm offended. Latinx. Yeah, like I'm offended by <laughs> being called a Latino. Fuck, no voy a comprar esto porque they call me Latinx. No, man. Yeah. Wait, I, because, well, no, the thing is that they get offended if you call them a, a Latino, Latino or Latina. So they want to be called Latinx, right? To not be... That's why I like Spanish. One bro. or the other. In Spanish, we don't have that issue. In Spanish? It's, yeah. It's the same thing, no? Yeah. Well, uh, Latina, yeah. Latino? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But well, that's yeah, but I'm saying, saying but like, 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 let's just say when you go and fill out an application, they're the, not gonna have both fucking the, the options. O, the O or the I is yeah. the problem. It's just gonna be Latin X. Yeah. Mejor que can soy Latin y ya. Latin, 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 Latin Kings. Do you know? I wonder uh, well. if I wonder if the Latin Queens. Well, no, that it works right there, right? It's both ways, Latin Kings and Queens. But yeah, know. it's it's like I was. I don't know what other part we See, were talking that, about. Um, I don't know if you heard about this shit where this is really going to trip you out if you haven't heard about this. Um, so now when you have a baby, you don't have to necessarily have to check off what gender it is, even though even though it's born with or without a penis. Yeah. Like they you like, let the baby decide what he, he or she feels like being. Did you hear about that one? No. Yeah. I see it's the, a thing. I see, I'm the, old school, I see the old school. I, 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 I see don't the old school. Say, he's, he's getting, getting all pissed, pissed off. off. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, what the fuck, fuck is that? I wish we had. Sorry, guys, that we don't have video so you guys could see this. But hopefully, you guys soon. Soon, hopefully. But if you guys could see this, <laughs> mi compa Juanito was about <laughs> to fucking rock throw la something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they were quitting the cinto. But, you know, sometimes I don't say anything because I just feel like I'm old, maybe. 
Yeah. I'm old school and nah, maybe but this is a place I need to, to say get, get, a, uh, get with the program, you know, but nah, I don't know. Me pongo a pensar de todo, like when I was growing up, yo no, no, ten, no le tenía miedo a la policía. No. no. A lo mejor we were ignorant porque no nos damos cuenta de cosas because we didn't have social media back then. We didn't have yeah. internet. We didn't have none of that crap, pero I don't know. I feel like it was better when I was growing up. You know, a happy fuck, ass kid, man. I, I, I think the internet has a lot to do with what you're talking about with the millennials, with the with the yeah. softness, with the way of thinking. And yeah, the, the way of thinking. The outspoken o sea, and everybody having an opinion. That's another thing. I kind of feel like, like even going back to like the Black Lives Matter. I think some people even just do it just to to fit in. Oh, everybody's to be part of something. Yeah, to be part of everybody's. In, oh, I gotta be, you know, yeah. without even really having. A fucking real opinion about it, or having enough details about it to have a opinion. There, there was this. There was a study that I, I read this article about. Um, how it's you know they go with the trend. These teenagers yeah, go with the that, trend, right? There you go. And like all of a sudden, like let's just say in this room, it's it's uh, six of us, and if four of us decided to be trans, the other two would kind of essentially no become trans. And 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 the thing the, the question the, is who's the four, first yeah, four? Yeah, Alice, who's the first class? four? <laughs> and um and there there was a study about how that becomes a trend and how it becomes something that they end up doing like uh, uh the surgery and man don't quote me on this I wish I would have read more on it but I think that the doctors and shit they don't even um you don't need parent parental approval now anymore like, I think yeah, yeah you could just do it and um a, a, a high percentage of them are regretting it like they want to you know go back because you know those are tough years you know i think the teenage years at those most it you know my you know your mind is not you don't know exactly maybe what you want or who you are i guess you're finding yourself como dicen verdad y pues está más fácil para que los morros hoy en día well that's what i'm saying they see, que, they see shit at a young age and they're like oh well maybe that's what that's caitlin what, jenner did it fuck yeah, it right yeah maybe that's how i feel and yeah I, then it happens, and then they grow up, and they're like, like, "Oh shit, oh, shit. this is not what I wanted." But, yeah, but yeah. then again, you already chopped off your. It's too late already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, but those are the those are the millennial thoughts now. Yeah, these. yeah. I think kids grow faster now, like mentality wise. Uh, yeah. They're very um, smart motherfuckers. I uh, I pay attention to my daughters, like um, even toys nowadays, fucking slime. And me, <laughs> me, I have kids, you know, so my little daughters are always want to do. Uh, it has a name where they do it yourself, kind of. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, like that. Um, even like the watery sand, or what is it called? Like wet sand. Kinetic sand. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Um, I know all that shit because my daughters. Um, I would steal that shit. I, I don't from Walmart. see kids playing with action <laughs> figures, no. Dude, I, I was like 13, 14 still playing with action figures. No, mom is going outside, dude. Exactly. The fucking kids don't go outside Putting the milk crate in the in the post in the alley. Hell yeah, we bro. talked about People, that. People, the, the kids rather watch kids play with toys on YouTube than play on with YouTube, toys. On YouTube, yeah. Yes. Wow. That's fucking retarded. Ryan, that fucker. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> or you know what trips me out? My little girls watch this video where there's like it's chinita just making noises like eating shit. Oh yeah, what are those called? This. And ASMR. Then, and then I, yeah. <laughs> yo en la noche estaba yo en el cuarto and I hear. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, what, like, the, what the fuck, fuck is oh, that shit? shit. I, I walked all over the house. And then I went to my bed. daughter's room. I'm like, what the fuck are you watching? Oh, oh man. I had fuck? I had seen some Mexican chick that just There's eats like hot Cheetos making... and shit. Have you seen that oh, chick? Oh, yeah, con las uñas largas. Oh, my God. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck, wow. man? I don't know anything you guys are talking about. <laughs> no? <laughs> no? Oh, wow. Know. I don't have kids. That's what I'm saying. No, 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 but this is not a kid thing. This is just like a fucking chick that just watches no. fucking... She just... All she does is eat hot Cheetos, everything, bro. It, it, it's rare. I remember growing up, man, there was all these action figures. Now nobody plays with Barbies. Nobody plays so with So what was your figures. favorite action hero growing up then? Um, I would have to say... The most toys I had was Ninja Turtles. Oh, but Ninja I, Turtles was shit, bro. And yeah. He-Man was my favorite. I, I was He-Man. He I was a He-Man guy. Thundercats, Ghostbusters. I wish Ghostbusters, Fry was here. Ghostbusters, yeah. I wish Fry, Fry, Fry was there? here. Fry. He can back me up with this. Fry's, yeah, Fry goes Fry. to Indiana. Uh, my compadre goes to Indiana toys. for the antique toys. Yes, yes. <laughs> he just fucking told me about uh, uh, toys I can buy online. Oh, he put you on, bro. Yeah, he did. 
Yeah, he fucking put you on. I viene mi compadre. Yeah. Yeah, I grew up uh, Copa, you being have a, scared a, a of the couple exorcist. minutes. Okay. Oh yeah. Special Take a seat next to us. We're yeah. talking about old school action because because we uh we lack we the experience you. with toys. Yes. And no, not sex toys. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong I toys. Know. Give him a second. Let him get fucking wired. Because we're uh, <laughs> we're talking about what was Juanito's uh, favorite toys <laughs> growing up. Because we're talking about how kids nowadays yeah, yeah, yeah. rather watch kids play with toys than play with toys. Yeah. All right. Oh, there he is. So, so not uh, the sex toys then. Not the sex toys. No, that's a different shit. episode. All right, I'm out. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Should we snap or fry? Yeah, there he yeah, is. Yeah. I can't that's fry. Hey, that's well, snapper. What's this, what's this whole snap snappers. thing? What, We're like, we oh, you're snapping. We don't oh, clap. Shit. No clapping Juanito, here. Juanito's like, snapper. <laughs> a snapper. Sí, like sí, sí, como dicen en español, está snapeando. Está snapeando. <laughs> it's like one of those uh, po poetry fucking readings or like all snapping. Oh, oh snapping. I didn't even know they did that yeah. at the poetry things. Yeah. Compa, this guy is uh, Juanito's talking about how his favorite toy was He-Man. Okay. Ninja Turtles. Yes. Ghostbusters. Yes. Thundercats. Thundercats. Where would you uh, categorize in, in, in what what for you is first, second, third, f third place? Like, I used to love Ninja Turtles when they came out. That was a shit. I, think, yeah, I, had, I, think that's a I had all four of them and the van. Jose, me traes otra. Did, Sorry. Do you, um, did you go as far as getting the movie action figure ones? No, I didn't. Different ones? Uh, yeah, there were different ones. When the, the movie the came one, out, they had like... When the movie came out, they made new action. Yeah. <laughs> Ninja Turtles, that was a big one. I... The one I wanted the most again was a Lionel from Thundercats. With the glove and With the, the glove, silver. yeah. I liked all that little. Uh, I don't know what the fuck that is. Yeah, I don't Thundercats? Know that. Do you remember Thundercats? I mean, I had the green tiger. Is that He Man? Are you That's I'm, I'm 30, way. Well, you should know about this shit. Nah. <laughs> now, you're Power Rangers. <laughs> yeah, Power, Power Rangers, Rangers Spider Man. His, his yeah. Power I never, I never his got Power Rangers. That was after. But, uh,. I mean, Ninja Turtles, like, yeah, that's top. That's, that, that's top another up thing. Way. I would wake up in the morning, watch cartoons. Kids don't do that shit. Oh, yeah. No, no. Saturday morning. It's Saturday morning. It's not the same, right? Looney no, Tunes, no. bro. All that. En la mañana, el sábado. Pee Wee Herman. You guys ever yeah. watch Pee Wee? Yeah. <laughs> Pee Wee play uh, <laughs> Pee Wee Funhouse or whatever. Pee Wee's yeah. No, that's not existent anymore. <laughs> Nah. I mean that ended a long time ago with the. Uh, I remember Saturday every day cartoons. I would wake up in the morning to watch Woody Woodpecker before school. Yes. Woody Woodpecker. Before school. Before I'm school. Uh, what is that? Was that grade school? Yeah, grade school. Elementary. You don't even know what I used to. Watch I used to remember que en la mañana salía porn. Woody Woodpecker. No, no, salía my, school, little no. Pony, <laughs> my little pony. GI Joe. GI Joe. I would watch Carousel. <laughs> you remember that? Carousel de niños. Carousel eh, de la maestra niños. Jimena. Shh, fuck. <laughs> That's what I would watch. I How about Ghostbusters? Yeah. Ghostbusters is my shit. I used I to have the house. I wasn't. Damn. Oh, you had the house? I had the fucking house. I had, I had the car. I was a rich kid. Then. No, that's yeah. all I had. <laughs> <laughs> no Ghostbusters, <laughs> just the fucking house. <laughs> no action figures. You had to play with your fingers. Like, uh, <laughs> I was say, my fingers were the fucking <laughs> guys and shit. I always uh, wanted Slimer. Is that his name? Slimer. The green Never one. had that motherfucker. Yeah. Or the Pillsbury Doughboy. I wanted uh, he man. I wanted Castle Grayskull. The cut, the the. You wanted it. I wanted the Castle Grayskull. Yeah. Oh, the house where the skeletons were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That was you a got, pretty you bad. You got it now, friend. Nah, those have... things are running for like hundreds and you're, you're, hundreds of dollars. You're trying man. to get it though, right? I You've would love to. I don't have that right? much money though. No, oh, stop. Nah, I, think I we're don't. Not. Stop. I don't. I know. Not too Mister three hundred dollars a poster. Yeah, every time I fucking come there. Every time I come here, there's a photo shoot. Ah, fucking poster. I'll do a poster right now. I'll pay for it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was telling Juanito last, uh, last time we were having a conversation how I started getting into more collectibles and stuff like I that. I was just telling I, him that you go to antique toy stores now and well, shit. Well, not antique, but they're more vintage. Okay, okay, vintage. Antique right. is like right. 19, it's different? 1930s and shit. Okay, okay. Like old shit. Vintage more like, yeah, like our time. And like used know, toys? Used Little toys. old, but still cool. Yeah. Vintage, though. Like, I remember we, when we were kids, we had uh, shit little original Star Wars toys. My brother had a bunch of them in the box and... They got stolen. I never off, got like, into Star Wars. No? no, we were into since the long, like since we were kids, <laughs> especially because of the toys. Hmm. And then uh, yes. they got stolen off the porch, and we could have gotten a lot of money because of that. Wow! Stuff. I, I was telling Fry about uh, action figure that Rambo. Mm. That motherfucker had a knife, a forty-five, a R fifteen. <laughs> that was a <laughs> badass toy. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, yeah, I, I was always, I was always into when they had a lot of accessories. 
That's why I like Ninja Turtles because they had their little weapons and shit. They had all their fucking yeah, things. Yeah. Were you guys into like WWF? Oh, hell Ooh. yeah, bro. Oh. Right now they, right now they got a lot Hogan. of shows going on. A lot of fucking old school. I told you, weed is for niggas that can't afford coke. I told these guys, <laughs> man. I don't think this way. I always wanted a the ring for the wrestler. I had the I ring. Had the ring. Oh, you, had Copa, the ring. Copa, Copa, you have all the places. No wrestling no action figures. Wrestlers. Wrestlers. I just, <laughs> but none of the action figures. <laughs> <laughs> Again, he uses little fingers oh, to yeah. wrestle. I had the fucking ring too, man. You guys remember, uh, what are they called? The, the punch, the the guy. The, the yeah, Rock'em Sock'em. Yeah. yeah. What are they called? Rock'em Sock'em Robots. Rock'em ah. Sock'em Robots. That was the shit. They, yeah. they had the wannabe ones que vendían los chinitos. <laughs> es a chinito store? Se quebraron luego, luego, pa, 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 pinche cabeza oh, volaba. Yeah, yeah. The head would, the head would uh, pop up, right, when you hit it. When you would win. When you would win, right? Yeah. Uh, knockout. What got into this conversation? I don't know. What the fuck oh, we, we were talking about uh, trending. On. And okay. how kids nowadays, they don't play with oh, yeah, oh, yeah. 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 And then and they then watch, watch kids on TV play play with toys instead of playing them oh well, how now it's more like you if you got a twitch account you watch other people play video games yeah yeah oh. instead of you playing the video games you're watching other people play the video games that's yeah. crazy I don't yeah. know. and they have a lot of followers too yeah. right it's, yeah, but it's and they're rich and they're they rich make money, money off, off of it. it there's this one girl i saw she barely has like a year in into it she's cool and she's funny but she has a p.o box and people just send their stuff like her fans so it's literally every week Stuff, just free stuff, action figures, Damn. everything. She doesn't pay for anything, and now she just got sponsored. But do you have to be good? Obviously, yeah. Or okay. you have to have some kind of good personality that you're just getting people entertained. I think a lot of them are just luck because <laughs> I catch myself sometimes watching, and and I'll sit down. And <laughs> yeah, I catch myself I'll subscribing to all these motherfuckers. <laughs> I'll keep watching, and uh. sometimes I sit down like, "What the fuck is this chinita doing, chewing that shit? Who the fuck watches this shit?" Yeah. It's uh, and my little daughter told me it's so satisfying. What the fuck is so satisfying? <laughs> it's weird. It's weird times, man. Well, those are that's weird. At times, seeing people eat and just sat- the satisfaction of listening to to the chewing. Was that ASMR? ASMR, ASMR yeah. yeah, that's what it, he says. His daughter yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, watches yeah. that. Yeah, it's like, this is why you took my PS4. Because they watch YouTube <laughs> on PS4. <laughs> <laughs> they took over. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. No I more, could be playing fucking no two Call of Duty. <laughs> yeah. no, no. Yeah, Were you guys weird. big fucking Nintendo guys then or what? Hell yeah. It's till the day. Oh shit. I just bought a Nintendo. Now here's the question of the day though. Were you the Until paisa the that fucking moved the control when you would jump? Oh, oh wouldn't. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, right? Yeah. Did you do that too, Gumba? I will. All that. That was like the shit. I, I, I started. Went a long jump. I started earlier with the Atari. I had Atari. Yeah, I had Atari. Ah, you guys are rich, rich. I had Atari. I I had I played Atari, but that's because we had white neighbors. We had white <laughs> neighbors, and they had that shit. Yeah. Man, we had the I had the best fucking growing up way. We had white neighbors way, and they they, had they took us yeah, and they would take us all kinds, of, take us camping shit like that. Ah oh, shit, yeah, it's fishing all the time. Uh, Shout them out the the, the <laughs> Clue family. That's how I got into sure. Nintendo because we had Arabic neighbors. <laughs> In my building, we had a, a convenience store in the corner, 28th and Christiana. Shout out. Um, so the Arabic had, had money. So the kids, the, one of the, the, the boy had, a, had all the top stuff. So he had a Nintendo. So I would go to his house. Play sure yeah, I had, I had Atari, Nintendo, Super Nintendo. Got a more on Damn. And then uh, I stopped there. No, 64 I stopped. I, I was a big gamer. I, I kind of stopped when I got into music. Well, you told me you were that fucking guy that was in the maquinitas playing Mortal Hell Kombat. Yeah. yeah, Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat was Street my Fighter. shit. Nobody can take you off and shit. No. I, even those bigger kids, and I would lose on purpose because they would get mad because I would beat them. Damn. Pinche Juanito. Se hubiera dedicado a ser un pinche gamer mejor a la chingada. My cousin said on the Nintendo had the, the pad for the running game. I remember so, that shit. That shit was cool as fuck. So they had Damn, one. that's yeah. old school. Too. I, I, the I wanted the, the robot. Remember when the Nintendo came out? It had like a little robot. I don't yeah, remember that. Not, you don't remember no, no, that? No, that was it was part of a game. Shit. It was a, I don't know. Move. Did you have the glove? I never had the glove. I had the glove. I didn't have any games for it. Yeah. But I had the fucking glove. <laughs> hey, there was nothing like duck hunting though. Hey, duck hunting, yeah, yeah. pistola, like, pinch hey, pistola. Yeah. Pow, pow, pow. The fucking there dog was nothing like laughing at your ass and shit. Yeah. And you missed oh, yeah. that fucking asshole. Um, just in case you guys didn't know, changing it uh, uh, up a little bit. My Copa Juanito is also an uncertified 
certified chef. Oh, I damn. think I am. Yeah. I think I can. There's a big I difference. Think I, can. <laughs> I, I go based on what people tell me. What's your fucking specialty if you had to put something on it? Ah, what's something Gucci, you know? No, I say this, this guy. O cuando también, la familia dice, hey. Como el compa Rojas. Haz esto porque this is, esto sale chingón. That's, that's your. Barbacoa. Ooh. Recently, I got into that whole birria thing, uh, quesabirria. Okay. I just made some this Sunday. Ah, oh, you do it with no barbacoa or you do it with chivo? No, I do it with, with the rest. The rest, okay. A lot of people say it's not... Uh, it's, not, yeah, it's not birria unless right. it's from Chivo, pero también la barbacoa la hacen de Chivo, you know? Right, okay. So, right. Pero Boom. a lot of people told me, because when it got, you know, how everybody starts doing quesadillas, everybody says. Everybody. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, t- I started tasting it. I'm like, okay, whatever. And then I started making it. And I, well, I think mine's better than many, uh, of, the one, many yeah. of the ones I've tasted. Yeah. But um, I do a lot of things. I do chicharrón en estilo Durango. Chicharrón oh. tronador. Um, What's that? The, no. What's uh, estilo Durango? So we is don't have a, carnitas. That's not botanero, is it? Yeah, el mm. botanero, no. El estilo Durango es, la, la, el chicharrón de carne está más prensadito. Como más deep fried. Okay. Porque yeah. las carnitas se, se desmoronan bien y están bien juicy. El, okay. el chicharrón de estilo Durango es más prensadito. Allá, que yo sepa, no hay carnitas. No sepa yeah. Santa yeah, María yeah, del Oro, yeah, yeah. bro. No, not like that. But like you know what? Saying. It would be a good ass idea to make carnitas over there, bro. Because they're real good. <laughs> they are good as shit. I've done as much as... Uh, the other day, I did chicken teriyaki. Shit. I do lasagna. Es, es habashi yeah. chef también. Es habashon. <laughs> <laughs> habashon, mi compa Juan. Italiano también. I do langostinos. Oh, oh. shoot. The langostinos. Pretty and good they, right there, I'm not a big seafood guy. I, don't, I very, rarely eat seafood. But I just like to cook. Pero and langostinos lately, están bien chingones. Los langostinos. Ah, well, you well. can ask the guys from Dorado. They, they tasted it before. Damn. I'm going to tell I'm a langostino fan, bro. And I like to do my own, my own shit. Like, for instance, I made car, uh, tacos de, de al pastor, and I made my own al pastor uh, sauce, adobo. Okay. I made it from scratch, and um, I make tortillas de harina. What got, what got you into cooking? I don't know. I guess because I'm fan. I like to eat food. <laughs> no, that's usually the way it works. Oh, yeah. Pero tienes familiares I wish I would have gone to culinary ¿no? school, man. Yeah, yeah. Same. I tengo familia. Mi primo Genaro y su esposa María tienen restaurant. We own the restaurant too. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, through them, through los cuñados de mi de mi primo. And uh, me gusta la cocina. I related with music. When you cook something and people like what you made, it's like when you play a song and you, people like the song you just played. It's the same kind of satisfying same, same, same feeling, satisfying, right? Yeah. Same thing. I, I don't know. I, li- I like to eat and listen to music. <laughs> <laughs> You're the opposite. Shout out, <laughs> shout out people like Juanito. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Have you thought about doing something like on the side as far as I food do. Wife? I do want to do something. Um, no más que con COVID, como que me desanime. Yeah. And I've been wanting to sell for my house, pero como we play on the weekends now. Yeah. Every, every freaking weekend, I don't have time. Yeah. It's either or, I think, at this yeah, point. Yeah. Because if I'm going to do the restaurant, I need to dedicate 100% oh, of to it. Yeah. So have it's you, a it's a big move. I think music is what's holding me back from doing a restaurant. Yeah, for sure. Because yeah. it's time consuming. Both of them are, they're pretty much similar. Yeah. The hours and all that shit involved. Have you had tacos de pancita? No. Como, pork, pork belly? I want no, to have that not. today. Uh, a ver, cuando mi hermano hace, I'll let you know, güey. You, also, you told me about that. Yeah, they're also a little shout out to Baldo. La pancita Se de la Juan Baldo. Oh, yeah, they're fucking good. They're fatty as shit. Chip ¿Te gustan las carritas, va? Hell yeah. Oh, you're going to love that shit, güey. Yeah. They're fatty as fuck. Fuck. But That's really, my next thing. I'm going to learn how to do carnitas. I have never done them, but I think it's not that hard. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know the art behind it. I know it's postina su chiste, yeah, yeah, como yeah. todo, verdad. Hasta la lumbre tiene que ver. Ah, none of these kids back here know about Valdos. No, nah, they did. They did the no. Who shit. did the barbecue? No, but you only did the barbecue, didn't you? Yeah, they did the barbecue. <laughs> he 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 does a uh, smoked uh, pork shoulder, and he does like barbecue and all this shit too. That's also a process, like fourteen hours and shit. I tell you, loco, wait todo el pinche día. But uh, yeah, I wanted to bring that up because I know you like cooking like a motherfucker too. So yeah, um, I think me falta mucho because I don't do it a hundred percent. I would have loved to go to culinary school, man. <laughs> um, I had just told them that by the time this comes out, we obviously already uh had already welcomed them into the aguacate. You just finished the picture. I just finished the picture. Yeah, uh, that came out nice. 
I'm it's hoping, great... depending on his reaction. Oh, yeah. Doing? <laughs> All right. I just don't I like it. how I come out, but there's nothing we can do about that. <laughs> <laughs> he, wants he, want, much, he, uh, he wants them to crop the body like they did with Lelo last yeah. time. <laughs> Coat hanger, he said. Yeah. 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 Hell yeah. Hey, but we got him under. Yeah. Hell yeah. He's a, la, la I'm surprised he didn't want his shag to come out in this one. <laughs> <laughs> he had he told me, no, he didn't want it. When oh, he was shit. taking a picture, he's like, hey, que no salga esto. I'm like, oh, okay. Mm. Maybe yeah, he's gonna cut his hair. Like, Maybe he's gonna cut his hair. Maybe. Nah, I doubt it. That's his. He's he's done it before. Oh yeah. But it grows back like. Como <laughs> like, la it's de los <laughs> <laughs> like it's meant to be. Like it's meant to be. That's hilarious. He'll cut his hair today. By the weekend, ya lo trae. Ya lo trae. <laughs> the rest of the hair is still cut. Come by. You're gonna enjoy this quick story. Juan and I hope Juan can can say it right now. Juan had told me a little qu quick side story about Lelo. Um. Heading some sort of like invite from Cuisillos. Oh shit! How about yes. that? Really? That, 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 can Lelo, we talk about that? You can talk yeah, about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, Okay. Le Lelo told me exactly where they played. They played in Noa Noa, and they heard him sing. And I don't know who from Cuisillos went up to him, and because of the way, and you know, right now, you know, maybe I'm wrong. It's just my opinion. You tell me what you think. Um, now that I think about it, I kind of like. I don't. I think Lelo would have made a good fit of his style of voice because comparing to one of those singers Cuisillos had, you know, like very sentimental. No sé cómo se me hacía la voz. La voz de Cuisillos stand out a lot. Right. Yeah. One and of I, his favorites and shit. And yeah, I think right. that's why they approached him. I think they felt what I see now that he would have been a good fit, even though he's got his, that little emotion in his voice. Yeah, You're right yeah, about that. Yeah. I think he would have been a good fit, but yeah, Lelo told us that Cuisillo invited him to. Um, they, isn't that crazy. fucking nuts? That was yeah, crazy. Yeah. Like if you like right now that I'm telling you and a lot of people, a lot of people that are listening, they're gonna be like Lelo and Quisi. Right, right, right. Like it doesn't make any sense. But like if you really sit down until you hear it, like de veras cante con banda, entonces. He sang with banda before anywhere. We we sang with uh, Encantadora for my sister's wedding. We sang with them. Oh, nice. And it sounded decent. Okay. But his Lelo's real. His voice is Lelo. His <laughs> voice is real unique. Yeah, yeah. I we'll think see. like people would be like, "What the hell with Wanda?" But uh, I think with Quisios, I think it would have made sense. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That would have, would have. But he said that he didn't join them because in ese tiempo le estaba yendo muy bien con Show Revelación. So he was Show Revelación back yeah, then. Yeah. At that time. When that happened, yeah. Yeah, I thought that was some crazy fucking story. That's what crazy. he told me. I'm like, that's some shit. That well, some that's shit. what he told me. I don't know. I wasn't there. You know. Right, right, right. <laughs> Yeah, that's uh. Okay, so I was gonna say what around what time period, but when we said no, no, I'm I know, like, oh, I shit. think, uh, I think it's, it then. was when no, no, I was popping. When bailes were fucking bailes. Damn yeah. right. Yeah. The good old yeah, days. So, used to, what, so what do you feel about them now? What are, what, I, what, are, what are you? I'm old, so yeah, no, it's not <laughs> my crowd. Cool. No, no, it's not my crowd. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. bailes are very important to me because you know, it's my, well. mi trabajo. Of well. course. I feel old at bailes though, like it's not my thing. You do feel out of place in a way? Hell yeah, I feel like I'm like, what the fuck is this old motherfucker doing here? Yeah. Get the hell out of here. I know the feeling. Better comprar tu café. I know the fucking feeling. I think yeah. it's different. Well, the the fact the when I come out here, I feel like they're the people are older. Mm -hmm. Like compared to a violin in A Town. I see is chavalada, like crazy. Like they're barely starting to go out. You know I what think I think here, it is? Is I, I think que allá los dejan entrar más morros que aquí. Uh, yeah, pues, yeah, well, yeah. these are all 21 clubs, bars. Which the bars, you do the These bars. are all bars now. That's true. Pero no por tirarle a los bailes de hoy. Obviously, obviously, la gente va y el ambiente es diferente. Pero, man, los Casino Tropical Days. Ah, you can't beat those Sundays ah, at Casino Tropical Days. El Alamo. Si la gente iba a bailar antes y la. ya no. Y ya, I feel like, ay, wey, fucking fry. No, y ahora la gente va de, al puro party. Pero, 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 hasta pero, las chanclas. It's a now, it's right? A, yeah, now, now everybody it's, would be it's, dancing. It's yeah. the come and fucking buy the bottle and post it on fucking Snapchat. Buy some Coke, some weed, <laughs> some well. bottles. It's like I would tell people, like, uh, back in the day when you used to go to Noa Noa, if you would get a table, it's just because so you could sit down. You were lucky <laughs> enough to just, that's what you got it for. Like, yeah. people were up in the stage and everything. And if you got a table, you got to hit there early. If not, you're fucked. Now, like, now even the females are hardcore, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So more hardcore than down. back in the day. For yeah, sure, more up. hardcore than my ass. I mean, <laughs> I see some of them fucking Take some stories crazy. and they got like 
two Moads and two fucking crazy. Bucanas 18. And I'm like, no, mames. Uno I, apenas. I, uno va y dice, eight dollars for a modelo. <laughs> what the fuck? I think that's pretty cool. I saw that the other day at uh, like two different parties of nothing but girls at Mansion the other day pulled up, bought a bottle. Y oh pues, yeah, have yeah, a yeah. good time, man. I, thought, I think that's pretty cool, you know. Que no van nomás buscando quién les. See, I like that about Bart. Yeah. Bart's not into the machismo anymore. Right? He's <laughs> a modernized <laughs> Latinx. <laughs> He's a modernized machismo. But it, it has changed, though. Yeah, it yeah, has changed. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, nothing wrong with that. I think before las eran más materialistas las, las, las morras. Eh, no le digas viejas, pues, compadre. Ah, las morras. <laughs> Morritas. Digo, mi compadre. Yeah, watch out, Bart. <laughs> Estos tiempos They're going to attack you. Can't say can't say shit, say the the fuck cancel fuck culture will get you. Latinx people are going to get you, man. They that's can talk all the shit they want. I don't take that. That's social, annoying, I don't bro. take the social cancel media cancel serious, cancel. bro. That is annoying. Is it annoying to you guys? Hell yeah. Who is that you guys being old or what? Who gives a fuck, bro? Hey. <laughs> who gives a fuck about that shit, man? Like, fuck that shit, bro. Exactly. I, I always see it as like they're always concentrating more on the Just past than fixing up the future. They're thinking it's fixing the future. By going back, so that like, uh, so like the the like, like the statues people. of the slave owners, you guys are okay with that? Like you don't want to cancel that, or is it is it more like I only want to cancel shit that I want to cancel? Not the way I see it is like I don't mind if they change it because it is a bad you know history in the United States, right? So it's selective for you then. It's still selective, I think, um, but I just think there's a lot more people going back and looking for shit just to look for shit. So look, look at like the whole cancel culture. How do you feel about if we weren't cuando llegaron los españoles a México? If si no hubieran llegado, hubiéramos sido todos chapanecos, chaparritos, morenitos, mm -hmm. indi inditos. Yeah. Are you happy you're not an indito or? or I like well, I'm yeah, pretty yeah. dark. I'm I a like dark that. motherfucker. Yeah, yeah but you're not, not really, a fucking no. yucateco and shit. But it's right. still, it's still a big. <laughs> you're thing. not. A, Sorry, Sammy. <laughs> <laughs> Sammy's from Yucatan, by the way. You're not. A, you're, you're not an apocalipto. Right, 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 right. So, <laughs> so how should I feel about that? You know, should I be happy we movie. got conquered by Spain or? <laughs> it is true. Fuck, fuck Man, those that motherfuckers! They should have left us how we were. I have never, never thought of that. Yeah. That's good. Well, right yeah. There. I mean, but once you, if you want to go tall. that deep into it, like, does that mean that because of the conquistadores, the Spaniards, is that why they got modernized? You think? Not modernized, but that's the way we look, and that's how we speak. We speak Spanish. We speak yeah. Spanish, yeah, because of that. A lot of our culture. I just learned the other day that back in the day, I don't know what years. Don't quote me, because I hate fucking reading. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll read a paragraph and I'm done. You're like I just read the headline. Yeah, yeah. yeah. fuck the article. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, I was reading about something about Durango. They were talking about uh, the different Indians que había antes de la conquer de los españoles. Because todos los nombres de los ranchos de Durango están casi basados um, de españoles, uh, yeah. the Catholic religion. Okay. Que San Pedro, que San Miguel, que San Miguel de Papasquiaro, all that shit, General Escobedo, all that shit, todo eso es nombre de los españoles. General Escobedo was based on un general de España, el nombre ese. Okay. Del, de, You're from Escobedo, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I didn't know that. That's bad. So, I was reading that había unos indios en el estado de Durango que eran carni... Car ¿Cómo se dice? ¿Comen carne? Carnival. 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 Humana. Oh, so, shit. they would hunt other Indians. Cannibals. 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 They were cannibals. cannibals. <laughs> and they would eat other motherfuckers. What if the Spaniards never came to... You would have still been eating motherfuckers. Yeah, we still be shit. eating each other yeah. and shit. You have a different chef. Like, I wait it. Right now, shit. <laughs> voy, voy, voy a Santa Maria de Lora a comerme un güey. <laughs> I was just I, was, I had just I, I, I also I also had just heard or read a fucking thing that when uh, me parece que Ciudad México when they finished the the monument of I want to say Tenochtitlan um, they celebrated it by uh, sacrificing 84,000 84,000 slaves in four days mm -hmm. <coughs> And then the conquistadores came in and gave everybody fucking syphilis and shit. Of course. And wiped everybody out. Yeah. But, yeah, people can complain about the Spaniards coming in there and taking over. But before that, I mean, it was pretty fucked up yeah, regardless. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was very uh, very Indian and very... Muy uh, salvaje. Sí, muy yeah. salvaje. Exactly. And now we're just so all I'll Catholics. So look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I know how you feel about yeah. religion. <laughs> Fuck. Are you a religious guy? Are you? I'm traditional. 
Ah, okay. So religion, you all know. the shit we've been talking. But uh, I'm all not the really, stuff we've been talking shit about. I'm a hypocrite about. Catholic. Okay, you're uh, a cafeteria. Catholic. I go to a church when there's like a boda and shit or something. So you're not an every Sunday guy. Nah. But you baptize your daughters. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I, I like accept. That laugh. I yeah. accept that I'm a hypocrite. You know. You know what you are. Yeah. You're uh, like that's me. Kinda, that's yeah. kind of like I think out of our new age. Yeah. Well, I mean, I can't speak for But everybody. I'm not out there Some convincing people, you to be my religion, you know? I can That's the less. important thing when, when you don't try when you don't force point, something point on somebody. religion and some yeah. somebody else, yeah. That's Fuck yeah. Cool. Well, how are we doing over there, Jose? Oh, perfect, man. Oh, in that those, case, am I getting paid for this? No, you're not. Uh, All right, no, I'm going to. I know you got. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Fry, for <laughs> stepping in for the, thank to- you guys for the toy me. section. Yeah. Yes. The snappers. Thank you very much. Peace out. Peace out. Snappiando. Pero de todos modos, este, we are going to, we are going to fucking, aparte de thank Fry, we are going to thank Juanito. I hope you, did you like this, this whole little concept we have going on you here and shit? I felt like I got very comfortable at the end. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I mean, and, and. You know, technically, well, fucking bust as, out more as subjects. It goes on, yeah, as, as, it goes it, on. as it goes on. My bad. And, and you're not even drinking or smoking, obviously, or or doing any other kind of illegal drugs in here. But uh, once you are under some influence, it gets even more comfortable and shit. Yeah. But um, what do you think, Gomba? Ah, fuck, man. Well, I think this was a good one. We got we got a little bit of everything. Um, I like a lot of this dude's uh the way he looks at shit, and he's. Telling me like he's not a reader, but I mean everything that he was talking about right now, the Durango, he had to have read of that, you know. And or somebody good, told him did a good amount. And ah, it's not no. only Durango; there was all these th- different Indians. All oh, it, it was millions of yeah. tribes in, yeah. in in all of Mexico and Cent- uh, different Central dialects South America. And all that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And literally, I think um, I think it was syphilis that wiped all the fucking all the people out, especially See? like from the Amazon Amazonic tribes and shit like that. It was. It was uh, the Spanish conquistadores that brought uh, brought over, and you know, no masai, pues, I mean, North America, Didn't all the they Indians. They bring the cold también para acá. They they brought people the, were uh, dying from la gripe and all that shit. <coughs> was it the influenza? Maybe something. Well, I know it was the Spanish flu, pretty much. That's what it was too. Yeah. But um, that might have been later. But yeah, I mean, before all of that, the Indians pues, eran eran más más salvajes, caveman caveman kind of fucking theory. Yeah. But um, before we do leave, I do want to ask you as the going back to the Rao show. What do you got coming up, bro? Other well, than joining on what got the music group? Well, that's uh, that's something we're really proud of. Um, we like we have been working with you like on the download. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, we struggle with fechas because we, you know, we're. Oh, you guys are booked, man. Yeah, we're booked. These guys are fucking popular. Even prior, spot, yeah. even prior from this year, yeah. prior prior COVID, you would always call me. and We would always be busy, but right now we're focused a lot on music, content, uh, re- recording. Yeah. yeah. We have a uh, we have something that we're doing with uh con uh, Ricky de Lamento. <laughs> All right, he's, he's producing a CD for us. A whole we, album. A whole. Well, technically, it's gonna be a whole album. Dang. We we're doing songs by song. We're doing two by two. Okay. We already have two that have been worked on, and we have uh, pupurris rancheros that um son dos pupurris que van a salir ya próximamente. Un pupurri de polcas. And I have to work on un popurri de corridos huh? and tres corridos inéditos. Oh, oh, shit. Hell yeah. yeah. So we have all that. Who's writing up. those, you know? One of them, I wrote them. The, other, the other two were already written. They were just okay. given to us because they want us to record it. Yeah. Uh, they're going to pay for everything. And um, we're trying to, we're going to work on music, but we don't have time now. Yeah. That's it's the too, only it's too much on our plate right popular. now. Yeah. Yeah. So my focus is like, not only say that we're gonna do it, like actually, actually I'm do speaking it. like we're gonna do this. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's good. When maybe me voy a tardar más de lo que tengo Even if para. it's like towards the end of the year when kind of shit kind of slows down. Yeah. I'm a big fan of recording in in, in the fall winter. Ya que se calme el, el verano, todo mundo va a estar saturado de trabajo. Yeah. Y a lo mejor todo el año, honestly. Once all this shit goes back to 100% open. And you know, every time you record, nunca sale cuando planeas que va a salir. Right. It's hard para que salga. Dice, oh, va a salir para esta fecha, and something comes up, or se tardaron las fotos, o se tardó en subir, o no está la música lista, no está mezclada, no está masterizada. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. And now with the whole um, plataforma digital, que se tarda tanto para subirla, and que you gotta wait for this. And you're going to get the licensing yes. and all this shit. Well, thanks to you guys being on the El Guacpad, de allí, al salir de ustedes y al salir de Alacranes, we got hit up 
by Lamento Show. And Lamento will be in our season three. Mm-hmm. Actually, they're gonna be uh, on El Guacpad. They're um they're gonna be part of our special. Actually, they're gonna be uh, a live audience Guacpad at, at Casa Humilde. That'll be on a Monday. Probably about this when this shit comes out about this is about three weeks, right? So yeah. it's gonna be June fourteenth on a Monday, and then we're bringing them that weekend and and uh, pues ahí surgió y, y creo que we just created like a good link with them. So if they stay till Tuesday, we may do them on Tuesday here, you know, ah, just to talk yeah. to them. So it would be good. So I want to thank you. That's that I want to thank you for uh, linking us up with them. And uh, y pues al contrario, like for us, it's a uh, it's a little bit odd or ironic that you guys. Um, are with Aguacate because we haven't had a Durangin since Banda Real where we were at but um, for us it's a when I say like it's a it's a move that we wanted to make to give the company even more of a stability I think it speaks high of you guys because of your history your trajectoria what we can see with you guys um, the vision for the future the the young groups that now we have that I would love to do collabs, even if it's office videos, which we call mid-level videos, right? Not professional and shit, but our style and they sound great and it's content. Um, so we can't wait for you guys to to um, to make it official. Uh, it'll be official by the time this comes out. Y pues para hacer collabs, ya sea con con Cascabel, where where I'm singing at now. Um, with the, with the Zar the Zar guys, Zaza boys, the Zaza boys, and then um, with Saxteño, which would be obviously like a, a shoo-in, you know. I mean, con todos, con todos sería perfecto. Y, y tenemos esos planes. So uh, I do want to thank you, and desde ahorita, you know, thank you and the guys for for accepting. Más que nada, I know that it was a it was a back and forth thing, not in a bad way, just you know, in a good way, like a it, fair way. It, it's in a fair our, in way. our part, the whole back and forth deal was. Al comprometernos queremos estar nosotros al 100. Al 100. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. No queremos I, quedar mal. And I appreciate that because, uh, you know, he, he made it very clear that for him and for the group, there's the ambulance, 63rd Street. It's the Southside, Chicago. Hell baby. yeah. Como dicen los más, Chirac. <laughs> Chis morros. Chirac, they're from Elmhurst and shit. <laughs> la verga. Este... <laughs> But yeah, yeah, it's, uh, going back to that, like, you know, we're excited about that. And, and you know, if, and it's just a fair thing for both of us. And, you know, we, we have the same game plan, per se. And, you know, al fin del día, pues, yo te dije, like, no vamos a salir mal. You know, no, para nada. O sea, aquí el pedo es así. You know, don't worry if we can't do much as far as gigs. Like, for us, it's, 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 um, it's a stability thing, bro. Like, I think it's going to benefit both of us. Y es para... Es lo mismo. Es como todo, güey. Es, entre comillas, hacer ruido, pero del bueno. Like, you know. And you know why? Me, personally, I... Me gustó la idea. Porque ahorita... We were talking about this earlier. About the whole... Mm-hmm. Um, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. About how I feel like I've seen on Facebook. Bro, like, we almost missed that. Go, like, go, go. Dale, yeah. what do you see? I, I don't know, you know. Es buena onda. Se, se, está chido que, que se apoyen uno al otro. Well, let's clear it up for the people who are listening. Uh, Before we uh, started, my, my compa Juanito was saying something along the lines of, how do you feel about all these grupos? En general, it doesn't have to be Norteño. Just all these grupos locales. Eh, como gripping each other's ¿verdad? fucking nuts. Bueno, well, he's saying de... gripping each other's nuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he went he at was, it. He was serious yeah. about it. Yeah, he was serious. And, and, and you I, don't feel it's genuine? Not all of them. Okay. I'm not going to say who, right? But I feel like a lot of those groups um, maybe feel threatened by younger groups. Okay. Or I don't know how they feel. But um, if they're doing it, de, sinceramente, pues que a todo dar. But if they're doing it just to, for, for, I don't know, personal personal convenience or to look good themselves, I just don't, so I don't feel mo- much of them are genuine. Okay. But that's just my opinion, you know, I don't know. Se ve bien que se apoyen uno al otro y, y si hace falta apoyarse uno al otro. Totalmente. Pero ojalá y sea sincero. Because I think, I think it's too much not gripping. That could but, be, that could be a little bit of our, our old school mentality. I had mentioned it before, like before. Did you or did you not feel like before it was more of a... And maybe the young fucking millennials think like, nah, that's not what we're all about now. But before there was more of a competition. Like, or more of a, like, I I want to sound better than We would talk a lot of shit about each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck those niggas. We can yeah. play better than those Of course. Hell yeah. And now it's like, oh, man, you guys are fucking monsters. And 
Oh, yeah. Ahora, tú la tienes más grande que yo. Sí, sí, sí. sí. Ah, la Déjala ver, yeah. la chingada. <laughs> I, think, I think it's exactly what you guys are saying, güey. You think Your so? Guys is old, oh, oh, that part. You do yeah. believe that it's yeah, genuine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. No, no well, but, but when it comes from people that are not musicians, well, whatever. But if they're being genuine, ya right me here. mandó la verga. Ya te mandó no, la verga. No, no, no. I don't want to hear what No, that's cool. Say. No. <laughs> Do you honestly believe that all those groups that are giving props to each other are all genuine? Mm. I think. I, I, I bet you even the groups know who's being genuine, who's not. You think so? I, I think some of them have to know. Hmm. You know how everybody's always talking shit. No, que en Chicago no se, no se apoyan uno a los otros. Oh, yeah. Everybody talks yeah. shit. Yeah. Pero en ningún lado. That's how I is fucking, you know. My, I've heard people from Cali. Ya ves que pues, mi sobrino, mi ahijado. Right. He says que también allá son igual. <coughs> you turn around your back and they talk shit about you. Hmm. Same shit. I had that question once about, like, dicen que, you know, el, el, el peor enemigo de un mexicano es un mexicano. So and I've always thought, like, I wonder if that's like everywhere. Like, if you go to Germany, like, is it the same fucking concept? Like, is it really just? It has to be. Right? Or, like, or your I, own I kind family. Of thought, I kind of felt like. You have haters in your own family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't think it's just like a Mexican thing. I think it's a human. I, I think it's a human nature, thing. Yeah. yeah, human nature. I could be absolutely <laughs> wrong, but. Um, igual, o sea, uno se echa tierra y dice, no, pues el pinche mexicano es el peor enemigo de mí. And you know what? Al último, esto de la música, como yo. He platicado con otros chavos y les digo, al the end of the day, man, you don't have to worry what other musicians say about you. Yeah. Even if it's good or bad. Preocúpate por los que te van a pagar. Gústale a la gente. No le des el gusto a los demás músicos. Right. Porque... When you're young, bro, you make the mistake of, of kind of playing for the musicians. Does that make sense? Yeah. You, I mean, it's a, it's a good thing to, is? you know... It's a good thing que alguien te diga, un músico that you look up to y te diga un buen yeah. consejo. Por eso te digo, ojalá y eso sea genuine. Right. Que sea de de veras y no sea. But I've seen it happening too often. That's why I think I feel it's, it's fake. But then again, I'm, I'm also a believer about messages or posts on social media are interpreted the wrong way. There you go. Yeah, you, yeah, so, you well, did just say that. It, it could be, again, back to the same thing, bro. The trend. They see the genuine people saying like, hey, You know, giving somebody props and all the other ones that are not doing like, oh, well, we got to do the same shit. Como, I'll These tell dudes you, están apoyando. I can. Let's do the same thing as that. It's a, a trend, exactly, a know? trend. So, so it's not, some of them can not be genuine. Maybe no tienen, there's no mala intención behind it, but they're just doing it like you say, because yeah. this is a trend. You know, I want to send a shout out no who I think sentido. is genuine. I'm not going to mention the ones I think are not genuine. Nah, well, then you can't uh, shout yeah. out the good ones. Shout one. out to the one that I think is genuine. Y es bien buena gente. A ver. And you, I think he played with you guys. No, oh, then he's not genuine. <laughs> LJ. <laughs> Juanito Martinez. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ese muchachito he's a tiene nice un guy. corazón. He's a nice guy. He's a nice he's too guy, too nice, bro. yeah. I think, <laughs> no, no, in a good way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, I think he, he like, he's genuine. All right, yeah. yeah, you know, and I see him supporting a lot of his... He's like Samuel L. Jackson. The other day I told Sammy, no lie. Like, bro, you're fucking... Sometimes you're too nice, right? Like, you're too... Like, no one... And, and this is the old in me. No one sucks in his vision. You know, like... He's like, oh, bro, yeah. Yeah, you're fucking great. Like, and and I'm like... But no matter what you, you know, the guy just started playing, you know? But But... I think that, again, that's just the way they are. Like, I'm not going to tell them, don't be that nice. Exactly. That, I'm not going to say, hey, don't support your guys. No. Right. No, no, but. But well, you're right about Juanito. Yes. You got it. You got it right on the fucking yeah. dot with Juanito Martinez. Yeah. Yeah. Shout Big out, shout Juanito. out. Yeah. Decibel. Yeah. Decibel. 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 Yeah. 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 That's a good group, man. He was with us in Bijones. Poor guy, man. He was so young when he joined Bijones and. Was, he was yeah. full of old bitter guys, was, uh, not bitter, but just old guys. And he was getting really nervous because, pues, oh my God, no podía hacer nada. No mala cagada, güey. No, no tenía dónde voltear. Yeah. I'm sorry. Volteaba I'm sorry. con el LJ. After every gig, he was apologizing. Manny. Yeah. Yeah. It must have not been as enjoyable for him. Y las miradas del compa on stage, I know he they could be. Nah, they could be but Juanito, I, I think I was a, I was very fair with him. Se, se me dio aguito on the despedida where I told him, hey, you know what? Um, I'm gonna bring Rigo. You can play, but you're not going to play the whole set because it's our despedida and Rigo was a big part. Y al último me que no, dice que me quedó mal, pero no fue, no fue la tocada, no más fue Rigo. A lo mejor se molestó, or at that time he had just joined um, Fonzie, 
Nortenísimo. Sí. So, you know, I know they had gigs. Maybe it was easy for him to say, like, oh, fuck it. You know, if you're not yeah. going to play the whole set, come over here. Yeah. I, I also want to bring Fanzi on. I want to hear, hear the real story behind oh, yeah. Nortenísimo. He's another character. Yes, he is. Yeah. You need, you need to bring him. Bring yeah, him. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, ha I have it in mind. There's a lot of people away that we... Fucking there is a lot of people. Es que, pues, we can touch so many subjects on this. The Wackpot, like we said, strictly more music and shit. Yeah. But but we do want to thank you for coming on con puros compas. You'll be on in a couple of weeks. We'll be, we'll be shooting this out. Pero pues ya nos echamos dos orillas que, que fueron buenas. When this guy told me it's an hour, I'm like, dude, we just sat down. Yeah. When we first started, the but, first um, hour went fast. Bro, we want to thank you. Be on the lookout for the people that haven't heard of Dorado with... Um, with the Brigada, Brigada, check it out, the Dope EP, oh, yeah. and then and everything that's coming out with these guys, with uh, Ricky being the, the producer in, in the album, um, and then anything that you guys see, you know, with Dorado and the AMG crew, and, you know, fucking show some love, show some support, genuine, genuinely. Yes, if you don't like it, tell us You too. know, fuck it, if it's fake, show it anyways. Yeah, yeah. be like, what the fuck are you guys doing? Let us yeah. know. We'll listen. Nah, we'll be like, nah. fuck you. It's Dorado, it's, it's Dorado heat, dog. It's Dorado, Dorado heat. heat. Pero ahí estamos viejones, ya se la sabe mi compa Bar, mi compa Juanito, for all the fucking Manque smoking cerre, section. Manque. Ahí estamos viejones, la pura positiva. Snapeando. Snapeando.